Hi there, thank you for sending in today. It's Q2, episode 1, Jesus wins and Satan loses. Let's get to it. At the core of God's government is free will. Meaning, God neither compels nor accepts compelled worship whether in heaven with the angels or here with us. Instead, he has created intelligent beings capable of making intelligent decisions, knowing that with each decision or choice comes a consequence, either good or bad. However, with this free will also comes the possibility of choosing wrong. Just like Lucifer did, and the consequence was losing his place and getting sent out of heaven with a third of the angels that rebelled with him, as detailed in the book of Revelation 12. So having lost the fight to Jesus and ultimately conceded his place in heaven, the devil, often referred to as the dragon or the serpent in the book of Revelation 12 verse 12, he has ever since been enraged and has resorted to attempting to sabotage Jesus by any means necessary. First, he tries to kill baby Jesus, but instead kills thousands of innocent babies courtesy of King Herod. When violence failed, he resorted to seduction and temptation of Jesus as an adult, but still failed. Then he tried to keep Jesus in the grave, but again, that failed too. At this point, he was convinced this was a dead end. So, he jumps on the church of God, attacking and persecuting for time, times, and half a time. But that too failed. So now he is mad, and he has gone after the body of Christ, those who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. This is where the battle becomes all-inclusive. No one sits on the fence. So for all who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ, we are continually in contention with the adversary. Sometimes these contentions come in the form of persecution, sometimes temptations, and some other times they are indulgences, breeding addictions and habitual sins that we continually on a daily regular basis have to struggle and contend with. Whether they be persecutions, temptations or indulgences leading to addictions, whatever they be, we do not need to walk this walk alone anymore. The good news here is that whenever Jesus confronts Satan, Jesus always wins and Satan always loses all the time. So if we will today ask Jesus' help as we contend with those habitual sins, addictions, whatever they be, we will get same result, victory. But again, God will not force himself on you.
Remember, he operates on the principle of free will. It's your choice. And I do hope you choose him. Thank you for tuning in. It's your Sabbath School Doodle. And I'll see you next Sabbath. Happy Sabbath.